I'm Nathan with Blue Oak. I'm gonna, I wanted to make a video for those of you out there who've heard of Cena communications and how to install them into your helmet, or at least one way to install them into your helmet. They're pretty easy to install. And by the way, if you don't know what Cena's are, they are Bluetooth intercoms, which can wire in to your tree work helmet. We like the SMH10s. Uh, we know that there's newer stuff out there, but I, you know, these are, these are what we've been using. Uh, you can link four people in an intercom at one time. You can answer phone calls, you can listen to music. So even if you work by yourself in the woods with a chainsaw regularly and you have a helmet like you should, these, these are highly worth the investment. Spare parts units, um, just these receivers are like 55, 60 bucks and you can put them on any helmet and then the, the unit itself can kind of just change between helmets as long as you as long as the helmet has one of these on the back the cena itself is like i want to say 230 dollars and then it, it'll come with one of these but then you can get these spare parts when you get a new helmet and just wire all your helmets so we've got a couple different helmets that already have it wired and i'm wiring this new one here so decided i'd make a youtube video of it this time for those of you out there who care all right the tools that we'll be using for this Obviously, we will be using the Cena helmet clamp kit. I like to have a chainsaw file on hand, a Sharpie, some kind of silicone. And then um, one of these types of tools is just really helpful, as you'll see, for cutting that hole in the muff. And then the Allen wrench that you need comes with the Cena kit itself. You gotta pick a, an appropriate spot on the back of your helmet. These Protos helmets are not the best for this but I like to mount them sideways on these Protos helmets. And we love the Protos helmets. So even though they are a little trickier to mount Cena's, they're still worth it. And then you, you got your muffs, which come out really easily. That's where you'll be wiring your speaker. You just want to make sure that when you move your muff back and forth, that the wire doesn't get yanked out or pinched or any of those types of things. And so there's a little bit of prep work that you have to do with the muffs. And then the other part of the Cena is the mic itself. And I prefer these low profile mics. They stick right into the brow of the helmet. It keeps them out of the rain. It keeps them off your sweat and it keeps them from shorting out. You do have the option of these long mics as well. And I've always had issues with these shorting out over time, especially when workers are like sweaty and have it stuck on their face and they don't know it or it, or it gets rained on, they short out. The wiring for that will just kind of weave into the carriage assembly of, of the helmet. And that's about it. Those are the components. These, they mount, and I'm gonna show you a couple different options with that. Two other styles of helmets, just to show you. This is a Petzl style. I use the clamping mount on this with these little tiny Allen wrenches, and it just clamps to the back. But with Petzl helmets, it's a little bit easier to mount them. You can see this one's outfitted with a long mic. This is my wife's helmet, so it doesn't get used very much. <clears throat> and this is a cask helmet. It also is fairly easy to mount it with the clamp style in the back. Although I did use one of these little foam pads as a spacer. But um, for the Protos, this one's got a clamp style mount on it already. Oh, I got took it off. They just, they just don't, they don't hold very well. No matter how tight you get it, it still will sort of slide around like that. So what I started doing is I started swapping out to the sticky version and I was skeptical about it at first, but I figured, well, if it doesn't hold, I can just super glue around it also. And so far it's been holding just fine. So that's what we're gonna do um, with this guy's helmet. The way the Cena will come, it will come with that, with that clamp style uh, built into it and you just take the little allen wrench that comes with it and remove remove the, the clamp plate off because you're going to go into the sticky part instead and i'll just kind of use my own as a reference peel off this 3m make sure that that surface is nice and clean and once you get her stuck on there like that that's it. Want to make sure that you're out of the way here. 
Only with the Protoss helmets does that really matter. And I, we, I am not sponsored by anybody. I'm not sponsored by Protoss or Cena or Petzl or Cask or anything. So I can tell you unbiasedly that I think the Protoss helmets really are the best. They have their downsides, but for the price, you get a lot more in a package with Protoss. And they're lighter weight. They look bigger and bulkier, but they are actually lighter weight. So I, we really like these helmets. Anyway, so once that's stuck on there, these little wings here actually slot in. So make sure you're slotted in on both sides, which I'm not. There we go. Kind of have to wiggle it in there. And once you've slotted in on both sides, then you add those, these tiny little, these tiny little screws. And this is the most painstaking process of the operation is getting these tiny little screws in there. They're trying to work in between the helmet headband, just getting that in there. So we are gonna pause this video until I can do this. So we got this on there with the screws. Um, in hindsight, what I should have done was mounted that and then stuck it on there. And then I would have been able to mount the screws a lot easier, but learn from my mistake there. Okay, so next we're gonna do these. These are the speakers. They are hardwired into the receiver unit. You'll have a long wire and a short wire. Okay, so obviously your short wire should go to your closer muff, right? And the longer wire should go uh, farther away. And another thing that I like to do, which I totally forgot to do, is to route this long wire underneath and in between there. <laughs> like I said, I totally forgot that. So you can see I do I did that on, on my other helmet. So we're gonna pause the video again, took the screws out again, unwiggle that, take the long wire, tuck it underneath, and then force that sucker back in there. That both of the wings slide into those slots. Okay, now you can see I got the wire tucked under. And we will do this painstaking process one more time. All right, so we got that back on for the last time. Once that's in position, your next task is to just get these speakers into the mops. And I highly recommend whether, no matter what style of helmet you have, you kind of draw this out with a Sharpie. Put a little dot where you want your wire to come in. I used to put the wires like straight on top of the muff and I find that, you know, they just don't tuck as nicely back if you do that. See that? Mine's on the top of the muff there. It just, it really would have been better if I had gone in kind of diagonally there. So that's, that's how I do it now. My guys get the benefit of, my, of me learning from my mistakes. So mark that with your Sharpie marker and then it doesn't hurt to also put a piece of tape and label um, the left one or the right one or both so that when you take these muffs off and you have them just laying on your table, you don't like forget which one is which. Now, also, they have these inserts here, so it helps furthermore to take note of the way that the insert is in the muff. And so I can see that the insert kind of makes like a C shape, and the point of that C shape, the point going that way, is opposite the points of the design on this muff. I mean, just little things like that that you remember to keep your muff the way the manufacturer designed it and not put anything in backwards or upside down. Separating the muff is pretty easy to do. You see, for these Protoss helmets, you just pull it apart like that. Some types of muffs do not separate. So um, do your research. Um, I know the cask muffs are just terrible. They do not separate. But these these 3M muffs, if you have a, if you have a cask or a Petzl, they can take these 3M muffs, they do separate. So these 3M muffs are good. But the Protoss muffs separate very easily. You just, you gotta pull on these little, these, these little um, pegs here. They look like they're structurally gonna snap if you do that, but they don't. They pull apart. 
Then you pull your insert out and then you get ready to make your cuts on the shell of the muff. Now I already did it on this side, so I'll show you what that looks like. You can see that the wire will be able to go in there. And when we close, when we close this, um, you want to test this to make sure that you don't snap your wire. So before I do that one, I'll just go ahead and put this one in. The Cena kit comes with a couple of these little sticky Velcro pads. Peel back the sticky, put it where you want it. I'm gonna put this one closer to the top because this is my short wire and uh, I don't wanna lose that. And then this has Velcro on the back of it. So you just put it right there and you put your little wire in line with your hole. You take your other side and you just very carefully, you watch this, you can snap it in place, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I forgot my insert. So my insert, remember my insert points opposite the way that this is pointing. And it feels like it won't all jam in there, but it does and you'll get a good snap which confirms that you have a good seal once that's been done you can put your muff back into the bracket and you see that it, it holds you know it goes back and forth very nicely i've got enough slack to to accomplish that i might even feed a little bit of this slack in because i don't like having extra wire but I can do that when I go back to do the silicone. So now for this one, we have not cut it, but we went ahead and we marked it. Okay, we marked it when it was still on the helmet. I'll just demonstrate that again. Marked it when it was still on the helmet. And you wanna, when you mark it, you wanna get both sides of that shell because that you're gonna cut both sides. So you make sure everything looks good, everything's lined up, the way the wire's gonna go in to the helmet. Don't have this upside down when you mark it. Push that apart. It's very, there you go. Push it apart. And we're gonna take this cutting tool and you can do this with just a chainsaw file. Chainsaw file is nicer to just sort of clean it up afterwards. Yeah, you can do this with a chainsaw file if you wanted to. If you didn't have one of these reciprocating saws. I'm use a reciprocating saw. Okay, got that one started. Now, I will say also that this... This lip right in here, part of that seal, that's that's really important. You have to take that out. Okay. Now we can go back with the file and kind of Clean it up a bit. Okay. Now, before you put your wire in, you wanna physically do this and make sure that when it snaps, that it's not gonna cut your wire. And you can see right here, I need to chisel this out a little bit more on the upper side. Just because you marked it and cut it where you marked it doesn't mean that it's going to snap back perfectly like you think.
Okay, we're gonna try that again. That looks a lot better. All right, sweet. So, now we're ready to put in our wire. Now this one's the long wire, so it really is not as important uh, to maximize your wire. Just put that little guy in there. And I, I even, you know, I'm gonna pack a lot of this wire uh, back in. If you make your hole big enough, then you can like pack it in all the way and then let, like, and then pull it out to the right length once you adjust your muff. That way you've got it perfect. All right, so I gotta orient my, my, my insert the other way, according to the way I remembered it. Okay, it's pointing that way, opposite the way of the arrows. Okay, get that wire in there. Make sure that the muff is, I mean, the speaker is not like being covered by that wire, by that excess wire. Okay. And all right, it's a little bit fidgety, but let me get that back together here. And we're just gonna make sure that our wire is nice and not being hit and I can pull it out. If I pull on it, it'll actually pull out. So now I know how much to, I know how much to actually pull out. <sighs> But it's not pulling out very easily, of course. So we'll just kind of we'll help it along here a little bit. We'll get some of this out of here. Make sure we get it in there. Don't want to cut your wire. If you cut your wire, then the whole thing is a wash. Okay. Right there is probably good. I'll pull just a tiny bit more. That's pretty good. Let me snap that back into place. And there it is. Okay, it has the room to go up and down. I mean, to, to stow and to come out. The last thing we're going to do before we're done with these muffs is apply a little bit of the silicone. So you want to weather seal these now that you've made those holes. So I'm actually going to open it up. I'm going to put some right on the inside like that. Get it nice and sealed in there. You can get like a clear silicone. I don't happen to have any. So I, but I mean, it doesn't bother me. I can wipe off the excess there. And that one is nice and sealed. That one's done. It can just kind of do its thing and dry. Now obviously you need to be, you know, be sure that you got enough length at that point that you put the uh, silicone in all right, I'm going to pull just a smidge back out there. Get all the way around it. Make sure that your wire is in the groove. Put that on the inside of that bracket. And voila, we're done. We can peel that off. All right, now the only thing left to do is install the mic. Installing the mic is very easy. Um, let's see, did they give me a short mic? They better have given me a short mic. And a silicone? Hmm? Oh. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> they gave me a short mic, it was hidden. These things are like so awesome. They're lower profile, they are just, but they still pick up the voice and the intercom just fine. So they don't get damaged as easily. 
Um, and with them, you, you want to use another one of these little stickies. And since I've done this before and I know a good spot to put it, I like to just reference my last helmet. I'm just going to put it kind of right there. But yeah, we're going to put it right in here. Okay. Stick that little short mic in there. And this is totally optional, but you just want to figure out a way to kind of to wrap this wire in. I'm going to choose to go through these holes that are in the Protos carriage or headband. Um, I go through that one and I weave back through that one. And, you know, you, don't, you want to put this in a spot that's going to be comfortable for wearing it. Now on this side, I might just do like a little half hitch with the wire and just kind of leave it like that. But then it just plugs in. Can only plug in one way so if you get it wrong there are little arrows so you just make those arrows point at each other and voila that's it easy to change out the mic um afterwards you just want to make sure that wherever you stowed that mic is still allowing you to put your muff back you know however however you routed the mic is allowing you to put your mic uh your muff back still not getting caught on anything. That is it. That's installing a Cena to a Protos helmet.